The Cube at Hadoop Summit 2014 is brought to you by anchor sponsor Hortonworks. We do Hadoop. And headline sponsor, WAN Disco. We make Hadoop invincible. Ponds, lakes, pools, puddles, okay, clouds, back, it doesn't really. We're here live uh, in Silicon Valley in San Jose for Hadoop Summit 2014. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com. I'm here with Jeff Frick, general manager of our CUBE business operation commentator on tech. Um, industry veteran Jeff, great to see you back on theCUBE. Yeah, it's great to be here, John. And uh, I know we're in San Jose, I know we're at a developer conference because unlike in Vegas, they never stop the coffee at this <laughs> thing. It's been yeah. going 24-7, uh, there's a lot of buzz, a lot of energy. Um, was our third or fourth time here at Hadoop Summit? Seems yeah. to be really maturing, and, and what I was most excited about yesterday was the large number of customers yeah. that we got on. Yeah, and also you mentioned developer conference. One of the things about these uh, developer conferences is that it's a very social um, gathering. The parties certainly rage all night long, and I was a good boy and went, got home by midnight, which is great, get my fresh, uh, fresh energy for today uh, for all day uh, coverage. But you know, one thing, observation from day one yesterday was clearly that it's a very social environment here. The vibe is mellow and serious, but like in the after hour parties, it was very cool. A lot of people partying, Intel, Cloudera, Cisco had a party, MapR, Plat4 had a party. And I got to see all the people that we saw from the beginning when this industry started. We did the first Hadoop world with theCUBE. And watching the evolution from the, the pioneers to now the serious big players coming in here, it's about business outcomes now. You're hearing about you know, legacy Hadoop. Merv Adrian was on yesterday with some of the smartest analysts talking about you know, SQL on Hadoop. And you're starting to see the telltale signs of an emerging ecosystem, a real industry, where the benchmarks are now moving to not who contributed the most, but who's delivering the most value. And that's revenue, that's customer satisfaction. I talked to two or three startups that are now in their series seed funding, um, talking about expanding professional services. We're going to have Teradata on shortly, uh, Cisco, we talked to IBM. You have essentially three tiers of players here at Hadoop Summit. You have the startups, seed funding to series, through series B, and then you have what I call the series C to pre-IPO companies, the growth phase, pre-public, and then you also have the public companies. Each category is booming. You're seeing uh, innovation, you're seeing talent <laughs> problem. They're trying to hire like crazy. Everyone comes on, oh yeah, we're, right, hiring. we're hiring. Everyone's we're hiring. hiring. And more importantly, like I said, it's a social environment. Like the Hortonworks guys last night, those guys were great. I saw Jim Walker, John Kreisa, uh, and we're going to have Herb on, the president of Hortonworks. Really, really friendly group of people. The industry's uh, getting along well. There's not a lot of FUD uh, and, and uh, mudslinging going on. Truly the signs of, to me, the early stages of a growth cycle. And I think we're well past the trough of disillusionment. And it's clear that, you know, the Hadoop is happening. And Jeff Kelly was teasing out his new survey yesterday, which will be released soon. 20% of the customer survey are spending on Hadoop subscriptions. Okay, that means that 80% of the market is just going to be onboarding in a massive way, and you're going to start to see, in my opinion, real action. So that's, to me, the quick take from yesterday. Obviously, SQL for Hadoop has been called the gateway drug uh, for the enterprise uh, from one of our uh, smart friends and analysts, Tony Baer, who, who said that on the blog post. And to me, that means the ease of use is critical. Not just the infrastructure for gathering the data, but the infrastructure to manage and wrangle the data and produce the outcomes. And to me, that's the big story. Um, certainly there's some M&A movement going on, there's benchmark uh, flexing going on, and all that's great, but at the end of the day, Jeff, it's about the money. Yeah, and delivering customer value, and that's what I said. The, the more customers we get on the cube, you know, the better the show it is, in my opinion. I think we had three or four yesterday, we've got a bunch more keyed up today, and the other thing, John, in terms of your, your comment about kind of the friendliness, people are working together, there's still that open source vibe. And it's pretty interesting, when the sessions are on, you know, the, the floor behind us, the, uh, the expo hall, empties out. Everybody's in sessions, everybody's learning, everybody's paying attention, everybody's helping each other out. So again, it's about getting the good business outcomes for real customers, delivering real applications and real value. So I'm excited, day two, we're going wall to wall yesterday, today, and tomorrow, back at Hadoop Summit, San Jose, California, San Jose Convention Center. Okay, we'll Ready be right back with our next guest. Kicking off day two of wall to wall live broadcast coverage. This is theCUBE, it's our flagship program. We'd love to go out to the events and as we say, extract the signal from the noise. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>